it is. Going to be another large day here in the big land. Got the oil changed on the screw. Heading in now for a little hunt. Grab a little bit of wood. Nice and cold this morning. Got the vapor uh, coming off the water. I'm going to leave the toboggan here uh, for now and go for a little hunt. And first I got to get the pan out. Yeah, the hole's a bit tight though. Yeah, I always carry a spare one. So I'll put that in, in there for now. If I had to, I use the chainsaw wrench. I tell you, this partridge was stretching these legs out pretty good. I just seen a partridge right there. Oh, down her hair. I bought a sign here. There's probably four or five here. Only once enough for uh, a meal or two. So I'm lucky you now I'll get them all in this one place and. Uh, I'll get my firewood and I'll be home a bit early and there'll be some other stuff done. Oh, that one's gone too. I thought that was going to stay there, but it only pitched over right there. I'm going to leave that one there and uh, I'll go down and see uh, where these other four went. A little bit noisy, you know, got a little crust of snow, but I see at least one over there, so I think that's where the tree went. Oh god, there are two. Okay, and this other one there. Two pitched. Perfect, now the other tree is together. Whoa! Okay, I got one here. Tree one over there, and I'll just, look, another one took off here, and there's a big bunch. Look, oh, another one there. Two deer, there's three over there. There's a great big bunch. Hard to see, just behind that bunch of outdoors there. So I'm gonna walk, they're walking fast. Let them walk over there, let them quieten down again. And uh, I'll just take the time, I'm gonna pick this one here. Only wants a couple of meals, everything works out. I'll get them all here. Yeah, there's lots of partridges here, so. But you know, like I said, only wants enough for a couple of meals, so. I'm going to get too excited, go around, bang, bang, banging. I'll just take my time and pick them off. Just take my time right now because it could be really close to one. I know it here. I'm going to go first track. Only once. Really is one to a time. Oh, it's easy right there. I'm not going to get greedy. I'll line up two here now when they're a little bit wild. see where the others flies it was the only thing but now I branched off to get that one so I just brought it up right here to put it on my uh, main path and now let's take our time and see if we find another one the tracks up there just follow the tracks the other one I seen is the one that branched off out that way. You know, scatter one, we stop and start feeding, and where the other one is walking, you kind of get left behind a little bit. Oh no, no, part was there, that's the one I seen earlier. I'm walking right in line with that uh, spruce tree there just to block me out a bit. And nothing flight. Two right there in altars. Uh, <laughs> maybe I will take. No, no, I'll just take my time. I hear that airplane there now, but when I was picking this one, I could hear the partridges, and there's two right there, and there's one over there in the trees, and I think I see one on the ground there as well, so 
I'll walk back this way first and just continue my walk on up through. Oh, the one, one ahead of him flied first. Anyway, that's number four. Oh, one near in the tree. Ooh, nearly squeezed the trigger. See her? I see another one over right there. Swing this way first. There's at least five more here. Oh, I see this tree. This tree there now. I see these four there now. I'm gonna take the quite one. I was saying. Oh, five of them is right there. Four one up there. We're not as walking for this one. I see these two or three or four more behind those little bunch of trees there. We'll just keep track of them. This is number five. Killed. Four, oh, a bunch gone there. One run. Oh, look at that. Two, four. Another four is going to go over and meet them. Another one just flying up through there. I only, only pitched up on that bank there, look. Up there on the edge of the bank. Oh, yeah, I see some all up there. Oh, yeah. You might fly. They're running fast, but. I'll get up and hopefully if they do, I'll see where he goes to. One over that way, and one behind this spruce tree. I think the rest is just up on the bank there a bit further, but uh, it looks a bit wild. As he flies, hopefully I'll see where he goes to. Time to get a couple one shot. They're running really fast. But they're not flying. I'll block myself out with this pine tree here. Looks something nice if I don't get a shot. Nice to see. Look at him. <laughs> you talking about running? I gotta try to close enough to get one anyway. Ooh, a bunch of deers in range. Oh, they moved. Got a little knob there. I don't want to make sure I get some. I think if they don't fly soon, I'm going to get a little shot. Right behind this pine tree here. Now, one deer I could get. Two to one shot here, maybe. Yeah, I tried for two, I, I got just the one. And it kind of scattered. Uh, couple went this way and a bunch went on down that way but still going on back uh, chasing my track back I'm gonna make a beeline for the skidoo well that's a half a dozen on that walk that's pretty good look at that six beautiful birds yeah I'm gonna have another little look and if I don't get uh, any more it doesn't matter said I fired at two and I got just the one and just look at this the other one is hurt so now I'm on a mission. I, I gotta find this partridge. You see that? Turn, you went there, and I see some sign there. Now the sign is just over there. Look like he come in through here somewhere. Squirrel tracks there. A bit of sign down this way. Oh, he's dead. <laughs> he's flying from over there a little bit. Huh? He landed right here again. Let's grab a line into the woods here. And there he is. So it's always good to follow up on your shots. You know, every time I fire, I always watch and see where other birds go. But especially if the one I'm firing at, if I don't kill him, then I really watch this and see where he goes because there's a good chance he could be crippled a little bit. So, so you know, probably happens more often than you might think if you don't follow up on it. Well, ended up with uh, seven partridges. Uh, so I'm going to head back there now and on the way along, I'm going to. Uh, when I see a nice dry juniper stick on cutting for firewood and putting in a new toboggan and some people have been asking about this toboggan and I'll start off and say that uh, this was a freebie for me a year-end fishing bonus couldn't say no to that <laughs> but uh, these are locally made uh, up in Lancelou and one thing I could say for certain is a very strong sturdy toboggan uh, I'm not really sure how many layers of fiberglass 
there is but uh but she's really strong she's a little heavy but but very well built and the reach is very strong and sturdy as well i don't think i'll have any trouble with that and uh yep got a petition back right here so you put your three cans of gas and if you get a, a leak in your gas cans it won't contaminate any of the other gear and uh, but i'll also say too that i don't i don't plan on using this one for home firewood even though i'm going to get a bit today this one is mainly for going on like uh long expeditions like you know when we went down to hebron and uh and we actually got a, a little expedition planned for next spring so but uh and i'll be using that toboggan then uh yeah uh the only thing is this uh, petition here uh, i wish he was uh, adjustable or removable because for taking some longer gear but uh i may even just cut that out and have an uh adjustable or whatever but uh yeah a very sturdy well built and you got this nice front up here so keep the snow from getting back on your gear and got nice strong metal rails here for for tying across lashing down your gear so yeah they're really well built uh you know uh, lots of times you know they say uh, buy local and if the quality ain't there it's hard to buy local sometimes but with a product like this you can't go wrong they're they're I haven't I haven't used her much, but I, I know that I ain't gonna have much trouble with it because uh, Yeah, very very strong sturdy toboggan and weight is a heavy fiberglass if you did damage it somehow easily repair it so Yeah, so anyway, let's go look for a stick of wood much more and this one here broke off just hope it's not rotten uh, and it's not it should be enough to finish off my load well guys I never really intended to uh, get any firewood but I wanted, wanted to get off for a little hunt today uh, tomorrow we got a zoom fisheries meeting and next day I got a zoom interview so <laughs> so uh, so anyway I had a little hunt and then uh, I uh, gave myself a little bonus with a bit of extra firewood everybody a happy St. Paddy's Day yeah enjoy it to the fullest guys enjoy it as much as I'm gonna enjoy this cupcake <laughs> mm.